Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or our website. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Now, today we are talking about a 2019 launch. I saw it come out at SIHH, and it was one of the coolest dials of the show. This is the Panerai Luminor 1953 Days GMT Lunarosa P. PM 1036. The PAM 1036, also known as part of the Lunarosa series, is dedicated to honoring the challenger of record for the 36th America's Cup, which will be held in 2021. As a result, this watch is nautically themed. Panerai is a nautical brand. This is more civilian than tack war, though. The timepiece right here is 44 millimeters in DLC coated titanium, and in terms of its size, it's 44 millimeters by a beefy 15.6 millimeters thick, not as thick as I expected, I should mention, 53.7 millimeters from lug to lug with a 24 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist and the fit is actually pretty good. I can recommend this for a smaller wrist because it's light and wieldy. The lugs are spare, short cropped and tightly downturned. They drape the strap over the wrist but they don't have a lot of presence in their own right. So you don't get that sense that the lugs are overlapping your wrist. I would recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, big as the look it is a Panerai after all and as you'll note it will fit underneath most cuffs including just about all jacket cuffs feather light and titanium we'll take a look at the hardware and the software which includes a matching DLC titanium trapezoidal style buckle there's a lovely contrasting stitch strap you can see it's calfskin it is thick cut with a sheer side you have that contrasting white stitch it is a sailor's strap though more above the waves than below you're gonna want to put it on a rubber strap or a textile strap for use in the water you can see this this is a brand new Panerai factory strap made in Austria by hand, calfskin on the bottom, and note the use of Panerai's quick release lug system. You push down this spring-loaded plunger and then you push the bar through, allowing you to use the associated tools to remove the strap without risking your skills against the lug finish. You don't need to use a strap tool or a screwdriver here. The quick release system has you covered. On the case back, the Lunarosa, as you will appreciate, it is a hydrofoiling mono hull. That's what you're looking at right here. Basically a flying boat. One hull rather than the previous multi hulls used to contest the America's Cup. It nevertheless rides out of the water above a certain speed, giving it a bit of a surreal appearance. If you've ever seen one of these things in action, they operate at almost automotive speeds, making this a remarkably fast rendition of regatta. The timepiece is 300 meters water resistant. Note the use of contrast on the case back. Media blasting and polish. You don't need two colors in order to achieve contrast. Rolling over to the dial side, let's talk about that crown device. As you can see, the device protecting the crown used by Panerai during the 1950s on the 6152 combat watch, it is both a better crown guard in that it covers the entirety of the crown and a smarter solution to screw down crowns as you need not thread the crown and the stem assembly through the seals. So by simply compressing or decompressing the seal, you make the seal last longer. It's also tougher to drown your watch because it's hard to jump into the water with that thing flying like a flag. Furthermore, it allows you to instantly and easily manipulate the crown with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands because there's no need to thread it out. As soon as you lift the lever, it is unlocked. It's also a wonderful piece of design iconography, as you already know who made this watch without seeing any other part of it. The case is spare. It's the 1950s case, which is designed to evoke the 6152. That was the combat watch that spawned the case later known as the Luminor, but this is not the Betterini tuna can case of the 90s. This is the 1950 case that rejoined the Panerai civilian lineup back in 2002 on the PAM 127, and as you can see, it is all a satin finish, media blasted and matte. The dial is made of sailcloth, which means it has a handsome, nautically themed appearance that belies the military heritage of Panerai, but definitely anchors it to the sea. It's a good look using the same material that's more commonly used to make straps for Blancpain products. You'll appreciate that there are splashes of color in the form of the red varnished second time zone hand and the seconds hand. It is a Panerai sandwich dial, as you can see, there is a disc made of sailcloth, or at least capped with sailcloth, on top of a solid disc of loom, so you actually have depth to the loom shot at night. We'll see that later in the video. Note the blackened hands floating over the dial. You can really just see the loom outlines making the contrast high, but the clutter minimal. When you pull the crown out, you have the ability to independently manipulate the local hour hand. Note how I can drive the date forward or backwards as I travel east or west. When I pull the crown all the way out, I engage hacking or stop set. Seconds. 
so I can set my watch precisely to a reference time. Inside, the second generation caliber 9000, this is the 9010, 31 joules, automatic winding, two barrels, 72 hour power reserve. The changes over the previous 9000, this one is thinner by almost two millimeters. It also features a full balance bridge with a free sprung index. It was always free sprung, but with the full bridge, it is now doubly shock resistant and very tough. The twin mainspring barrels also give you a more even torque release, so there's less of a runaway speed when it's fully wound and less of a slowdown as it's unwound. The two barrels even out the torque. The timepiece beats weigh at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and it is a Panerai manufacture movement made in the Neuchâtel manufacturer that Panerai calls home in the year 2020. This is a timepiece that gives you just about everything you could want, and though you can't see the movement, rest assured, at over 37 millimeters, it is properly sized and shaped for the case. Again, Panerai today, a full-fledged manufacturer. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. We're back with the PAM 1036. Note that the second subdial and the second time zone are both fully loomed.